guys and welcome back for another short flow. Today's session is a 20 minute vinyasa flow session. You won't need anything at all, just some space on the floor, a mat if you have one, and whenever you're ready, come and join me at the front of your mat in Tadasana. On the front of your mat, feet hip distance apart, lift the toes, spread them, press the feet firmly into the ground. Tuck the tailbone under, suck the navel back towards the spine, Roll those shoulders back and down and think about lengthening through the crown of the head. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. And as you exhale, just let everything relax, let go and get ready for your practice ahead. We'll just begin by rolling the shoulders back and down. Maybe five times backwards. And then when you've done five times backwards, rotate in the other direction, bringing the shoulders up and forwards. Again, roughly five rotations. And then from here, we're going to inhale as we lift one arm up high to the sky, reaching up to all, find that extension in the side body. Exhale, reach all the way over to the opposite side. Inhale, back to center, switching over the arms. Exhale, reach over to the other side this time. Inhale, back to centre. We're going to do five rotations on each side, moving with your own breath, in your own time. Just gently starting to warm up, mobilise the body, wake the body up. Last one each side. And then this time, take the hands out wide in a T-shaped position. And as we exhale, we're going to wrap the arms around the body as we twist to look behind. And keep repeating side to side for about five or six rotations. Each direction. Last one each side. And then gently come back to centre. Inhale, extend to Stasana, reaching up tall. Exhale, hinge at the hips, bend the knees, draw the tummy over the thighs. Crown of the head towards the floor and just take opposite hand to opposite elbow and come into right dog for just a few breaths. Two more deep breaths all the way in. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale, melt deeper. And then as you inhale, come all the way up, extend the chasana, interlace the fingers, clasp the hands behind the head, and just think about opening and lifting, oh, sorry, opening and lifting through the chest as we inhale to look up and take a small back bend, sending the hips forwards, eye gaze up towards the ceiling. Inhale back to centre, exhale, release the hands, and we'll begin with our sun salutations. So coming back to the front of the mat and resetting in that Tadasana position. We're going to inhale as we extend up into extended Tadasana, reaching up tall. As we exhale, think about keeping that length as you hinge at the hips, coming all the way down into that Uttanasana forward fold. Take two deep breaths. Exhale, one more deep breath all the way in. And then on the next inhale, we're going to step back with our left foot into high or low lunge. So option to keep the knee lifted or you can take the knee all the way to the floor. Yogi's choice, eye gaze forwards, roll those shoulders back and down. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, step back to down facing dog. From here, we'll just take a few moments to pedal out through the legs as this is the first one of the day. Opening up the hips, the calves, the hamstrings. And then when you're ready, we'll take a vinyasa. So inhale, roll forwards, high plank. Option to drop the knees if you need to. Exhale, low plank, or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. From here, we're going to inhale as we set the right leg high to the sky. Three leg down facing dog. And then swing it through, plant it between the hands. Find your warrior one setup. So back foot comes down at a 45 degree angle. You're going to inhale as you lift your hands up, hips off, squared to the front of the mat, exhale, sink into that warrior one, reaching up tall. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale, release the hands to the floor and step back to down facing dog and we'll repeat on the other side. So inhale, left leg goes high to the sky, three leg down facing dog, 
Swing the leg through as you exhale, plant the back foot. 45 degree angle for that warrior one setup. Inhale to lift into warrior one. Exhale to sink into that lunge. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, release the hands and step back to down facing dog. From here, we're going to take another vinyasa. So inhale, roll forwards, high plank. Exhale, low plank or knees, chest chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. Inhale, step the left foot forwards into your high or low lunge. So yogi's choice if you're high. Think about sucking that knee away from the floor and engaging that thigh. If you're low, just relax that knee to the floor and sink into the hips, open up that hip flexor. As you exhale, step through to Uttanasana forward fold. Think about drawing your chest over your thighs, crown the head towards the floor, place the hands on top of your feet and then as we inhale, we're going to slide the hands up, sending our hips back into a nice flat back tabletop position or halfway lift. Exhale, melt forwards over the legs. Inhale, come all the way up to chair. Sit back into your heels, keep that tailbone tucked under. Inhale to lift again. Exhale, release. And that's one round. We're gonna do three more rounds just like that. So coming back to the front of the mat, reset. Inhale, extended Tadasana. Exhale, we'll sit straight into chair this time. Tucking the tailbone under, squeezing the navel back towards the spine to have a nice strong upper body. Inhale to lift, exhale to fold, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, send the hips back, squeeze those shoulder blades together, flat back, tabletop position. Exhale, release, half and um, Uttanasana, forward fold. On the next inhale, step the right leg back this time into your high or low lunge, yogi's choice. Roll the shoulders back and down, eye gaze forwards. Exhale, step back to down facing dog. And then when you're ready, we'll take that vinyasa. So inhale, roll forwards, high plank. Exhale, low plank, or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. Inhale, right foot goes high to the sky, three leg down facing dog. Swing the leg through, plant the foot as you exhale, find your warrior one position. Inhale to lift. Exhale, sink. Inhale, one more time. And as you exhale, release the hands. Plant the foot back to that down facing dog position. And we'll repeat on the other side. The left foot goes high to the sky. Swing the leg through. Plant the foot. Back foot goes down. 45 degree angle. Inhale to lift. Exhale, warrior one. Exhale, release the hands. Step back to down facing dog. And we'll take another vinyasa. So inhale, roll forward, high plank. Exhale, low plank on knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. Inhale, right foot comes through, high or low lunge, yogi's choice. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. And as you exhale, step through to Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold deeper. Inhale to chair, exhale, sink deeper. Inhale to lift, exhale, release and reset. You're halfway, two rounds to go. So set yourself back up at the front of the mat. This time you can do a chaturanga if you prefer instead of that vinyasa. So we're going to inhale to lift into that extended chadasana. Exhale, sit back into chair. Inhale to lift, exhale to fold, uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, tabletop pose. Squeeze those shoulders, send those hips back. Exhale, melt forwards, plant the hands. And on the next inhale, step back with the left foot into high or low lunge. Exhale, step back to down facing dog. So this time you can either stick with that vinyasa as we've been doing, or you can scoop the chest through and come all the way through into up dog if you wish. Exhale, tuck the toes, press back to down facing dog. Inhale, lifting the right leg high to the sky, three leg down facing dog. Swing the leg through, plant the foot, find your warrior one. Inhale to warrior one. Exhale, sink. Take one deep breath all the way in. Exhale, release the hands, step back to down facing dog. And repeat on the other side. So inhale, three leg down facing dog, left foot up. Swing the leg through, exhale, back foot down. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, release the hands. 
Step back to down facing dog and then you've got the option of that vinyasa or chaturanga. So if you're chaturanga in, scoop the chest through, come all the way up to up dog. Everyone will meet in up dog or cobra. And as we exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. Inhale, look forward, step the left foot through into that high or low lunge. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, step through to Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold deeper. And then inhale as we extend all the way up into extended Tadasana. Exhale, reset. Final round, guys, you've got this. So inhale, extended Tadasana. Exhale, sit back into chair. Inhale to lift, exhale to fold. Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift your tabletop pose. Exhale, melt forwards, back over those legs, hands to floor. And on the next inhale, step back with your right foot into that high or low lunge. Yogi's choice. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, step back to down facing dog. Inhale, scoop the chest through or follow through that vinyasa. Everyone meets in up dog or cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. Inhale, right foot goes high, three leg dog. Exhale, swing the leg through, plant the back foot. Warrior one as you inhale on the right side. Exhale, release the hands, step back to down facing dog and switch sides. So inhale, left leg goes high to the sky. Swing the leg through, plant the back foot as you exhale. Inhale, warrior one on the left side. Exhale, release the hands. Step back to down facing dog and we're back to that vinyasa or chaturanga, yogi's choice. So scoop the chest through, press all the way up to cobra or up dog. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. From here, you're going to inhale as you take the, sorry, the, yeah, the right foot high to the sky, swing it through, plant it, find your low or high lunge position, roll those shoulders back and down. Eye goes forwards, exhale, step through, to Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, melt forward further. Inhale, come up to chair. Exhale, sink deeper. Inhale to lift. Exhale, release. And shake it all off. You've just done your four rounds of Chaturanga, so we'll just do a quick flow to finish, and then we'll um, do a cool down after that. So you're going to inhale as you come all the way up, extended to Dasana. Take your eye gaze up to your fingertips and then take your fingertips back, sending the hips forwards as you find crescent pose into a small back bend. Lift through the heart. Inhale to come back centre, exhale to fold all the way down. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. And then you're going to step or hop back to down facing dog. From here, just pedal through the feet, open up the calves. And then when you're ready, inhale, look forwards, bend the knees, hop forwards to Uttanasana forward fold and come straight up into chair pose. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, sink deeper. And then inhale to lift all the way up. Bring the hands as you exhale together, hands to heart. And we're going to come into crouching tiger pose. So right ankle goes across right knee, uh, left knee, sorry. And then we're going to exhale as we sit back into crouching tiger pose. Hold for five. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, come all the way back up, extended to Dasana. Exhale, release. From here, set yourself back up at the front of the mat, and we're going to do the same again on the other side, but this time with a reverse arm stretch. So from here, inhale, extended to Dasana, reaching up tall. Eye gaze up to the fingertips again into that present pose. Just send the hips forwards, lift through the heart, send the fingertips back, find that back bend. Inhale to come all the way up. Exhale, release the hands, interlace the fingers and clasp the hands behind your back. Pull those shoulders back and down, open up that chest. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, this time come down into a forward fold with the reverse arm stretch. Pull those arms away from the body, really find that stretch across the shoulders. And as you exhale, release the hands to the floor. From here, you can step on up back to down facing dog. Take a moment there to pedal up through the legs if you want to. And then when you're ready, we're coming straight back into that chair pose. So options are step or hop forwards. 
and then catch in chair. Hold for three, two, one. Inhale to lift. Exhale, palms together, hands to heart. Left ankle comes across, right knee this time. And as we exhale again, we sit back into that crouching tiger pose. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, and then inhale to lift. Exhale, release, and come all the way down into your Uttanasana forward fold. And then walk the feet all the way back to the back of the mat. Find your down facing dog. And we'll begin our cool down section. So just take a moment there to pedal out through the feet. You might want to pulse through the shoulders. And then when you're ready, just slowly come down onto your knees, sit back on your heels and find extended child's pose. Forehead to the floor, arms out in front, and just take three deep breaths. And then when you're ready, Walk the hands all the way over to the left. Find that stretch in the right side body. Again, just three deep breaths. And then walk the hands all the way back to center. And over to the right, find the stretch in the left side body. Again, three deep breaths. From here, walk the hands all the way forwards, come up onto your hands and knees, step the left foot outside of the left hand, and we're going to come into that kind of low lunge position. Just take a moment then to open up your hips, and then reach back with left hand to right foot, see if you can catch the foot, and bring the heel in towards the glute. Pulse it a few times, and then hold for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, release, step back, to that kneeling position again and switch sides. So right foot comes forward, find that lunge, maybe just find that stretch in the groin. And then come back, right hand to left foot, bringing that heel in towards the glute, pulsing a few times, finding that stretch in the quad, and then hold for five, four, three, two, one, exhale, release. Finally, come onto your bums, find your seated position, legs stretch out in front of you. Pull the fleshy bits of the bum out from underneath you, flex the toes back towards you. Inhale to lift and lengthen, exhale as we fold forwards. The three deep breaths in through the nose. And as we exhale, fold deeper, finding that stretch in the back of the hamstrings. Think about really flattening your chest over your thighs rather than trying to go as far down as possible. Think about making your upper body as long as possible as you do this and as flat as possible against your thighs. So find that stretch in the lower back first. Inhale to come all the way up when you've taken those three deep breaths. Slide the bum down towards the heels. Come onto your backs and bring your knees in towards your chest. Just hug them with both arms, maybe rock from side to side. And then we're going to take the toes to the floor, keep the heels lifted. Take the hands out to the side in a T-shaped position, palms facing down, and just drop the knees from side to side for a few window wipers to finish, releasing off the lower back. Last one each side. And then slowly bring the knees back in towards your chest, hug them with both arms. Rock from side to side, massage that lower back, and then whenever you're ready. Slowly make your way all the way up to seated. Find yourself in the center of your mat. And we'll take one final deep inhale as we lift our hands up above our heads, palms together. As we exhale to the forehead, kind thoughts. To the lips, kind words. To the heart, kind feelings. Namaste.